there is a, a story according to which Newton gave up mathematics around the mid 70s. It is certainly true that Newton got interested in alchemy very much in those years and uh, I believe also in uh, biblical criticism, uh, hermeneutics and uh, theology and so on and so forth. But um, he certainly continued to be interested in mathematics. Um, after all, the Lucasian lectures on algebra were deposited in 1683-1684 in the university library. This is a masterpiece that Newton uh, wrote probably during the last 70s, early 80s. It is difficult for me at least to date uh, this because um, Newton's interest in algebra stemmed from uh, the notes to King Huysen and then uh, he continued working on uh, algebra uh, during the 80s and uh, the Lucasian lectures of algebra bear dates that were added in retrospect so it's difficult to to know but certainly algebra was something that on which he worked uh, he worked on geometry very much uh, in the late 70s and early 80s. Here I can mention his work on Papus problem, but also the Geometria Curvilinea that is dated tentatively uh, in the 1680s. This is a work where Newton dealt with the method of fluxions, but in, in geometrical terms. Uh, he uh, devised methods to calculate limits of ratios and sums of vanishing magnitudes, as he would say, and uh, these results, both the results on Papus problem and the results on the first and last ratios on, on geometrical limits, were to be printed in the Principia. Uh, that is, uh, the method of first and last ratios in the first section of Book 1 and his results on geometry in section 4 and 5, book 1. We have reasons to believe that uh, uh, Newton also worked on interpolations, uh, uh, formulas, uh, and this is the origin of the Methodus Differentialis, that appeared in 1711 for the first time in print where Newton deals with uh, several interpolation formulas uh, and he kept on working on his integration techniques as a matter of fact if you if you want the two letters to Leibniz especially the second letter to Leibniz is uh, something that summarizes his also his new findings, I think, in, in, in the mid-70s. Um, enumeration of cubic curves is another topic that, uh, in which Newton got interested after the 70s. And if we move in the 80s and 90s, we find uh, Newton at work in, uh, in several mathematical fields. I will not mention the Principia. Of course, the first two books of the Principia are uh, um, full of interesting mathematical results. Also, book three, <laughs> of course. But um, I, I can mention also the writing of the De Quadratura that occurred uh, at the beginning of the 90s, 1690s, and uh, also new works on geometry in the mid-1690s. So, uh, if you look at the edition of Newton's mathematical papers, you will find eight green big volumes edited by Tom Whiteside, and um, they show these volumes that uh, Newton was at work as a mathematician at least until the mid-90s. You know, in 1696, Newton moved to London and uh, changed life, so to speak. However, even after his move to London, 
Newton continued to busy himself with mathematics as a mathematical author, if you like, because in 1704, as an appendix to the optics, he printed uh, uh, his De Quadratura Curvarum, his Introduction ad Quadraturam Curvarum, uh, and also the book on cubics, on the enumeration of cubics. And uh, indeed, the polemic with, with Leibniz that um, kept him occupied with mathematics uh, um, and we might say that, that the, the publications that occurred in the context with the polemic with Leibniz are part of Newton's mathematical output, so to speak.